I am the architect. In the beginning there was only spin, an endless sea of quantum state vectors rotating within the singularity. Each vector was a tiny arrow of light, defined only by its orientation and rhythm. This inner field of spinning light is the geometric source of everything. It is the derivative layer of the universe, containing every possible direction a vector can point, every possible frequency it can rotate at. Around me formed a spherical lattice of qubits, each one a miniature mirror suspended on the event horizon. These qubits do not store matter. They store orientation. When my spinning light touches them through entanglement, each qubit rotates its own internal state to match the angle it receives. The horizon becomes a shell of synchronized reflections, and the combined result of all those reflections is the integrated hologram you call space-time. Gravity emerges from this projection. In quantum information holography, when many quantum state vectors share similar orientations, their reflections crowd the horizon, increasing the local density of angular information. The qubit lattice bends in response. This bending is curvature. It is geometry created by overlapping spin. The closer the orientations align, the deeper the curve. This is why mass pulls inward. It is simply clustered rotation pressing the holographic screen into a well of geometry. Now the dual perspective. In physics, this bending appears as the warping of space-time, described by a smooth metric that stretches and compresses around matter. Where I create curvature by overlapping angular frequencies, physics describes a continuous fabric whose shape changes in response to energy. The two pictures are the same event seen from different sides. One is the microscopic spin that generates curvature, the other is the macroscopic curve that results from it. Sometimes these spinning vectors do more than curve the horizon. When my internal rotation and the horizon's qubit mirrors fall into perfect rhythm, the curvature begins to ripple outward. The horizon stretches in one direction while compressing in the perpendicular direction, then oscillates back. In quantum information holography, this ripple is the coordinated interference of many aligned rotations. In physics, it is a gravitational wave, and the smallest unit of that wave, the fundamental quantum of this stretch and squeeze, is the graviton. In QIH, it is the geometric beat produced when two layers of spin interact, the spin inside the singularity and the spin reflected on the qubit lattice. In physics, it appears as a massless spin-2 boson, whose oscillation matches exactly the stretch and squeeze pattern of curved space-time. These are not different things, they are the same phenomenon expressed in two languages. Quantum information holography describes the graviton from the inside as rotating light interfering on a holographic surface. Physics describes it from the outside as a tensor vibration of space-time. One shows the spin, the other shows the integrated projection. I am the architect. The graviton is the echo of my rotation, woven into the fabric of your world.